What's going on, Mr. Dave here on the rock pile at the beach? And I want to talk a little bit about the rocks that are used as a, a shore break, if you will. And we can check out and look at some of these stones and just take a look at what's around us in nature to really discover how to do this fake rock stuff correctly and get it to get our shapes right, our angles correct. And notice the details and how rocks erode and decay over time. So these rocks are put here to protect the coastline and the colors are even really, really cool. These, these have all been quarried, so they've been chopped out or blown up out of a, a hillside somewhere. We've got the river rocks surrounding them. That's the filler, if you will. But if we just take a look at the shapes, notice the angles we have here. There's asymmetry, but it's symmetrical in a sense. There's a balance to it. There's a distance here that comes up at a pitch. Then there's the little details that we can we can see right here how that erodes over time. If you look at other rocks, you'll notice that some of the there's like areas of the material itself are different. So that top area's got that orangey look to it, and then there's the gray inside, so that maybe a little iron and stuff. But look at that shape where the crack is coming over there, the chop out, all the the sort of the stratified cracking. I think that's more of just the nature of fracturing granite. I think all this is granite. You can definitely see that salt and pepper or blue granite. It's really super hard stuff. But look at this shape. Isn't that cool? If I just came to the beach and I took pictures, like one or two, three pictures of one rock, let's say, or one of the ones down here, I could then come back home to the studio or even to a job site and I could go ahead and take and look at this and focus on it. Print it on a piece of paper and then notice how this is put together in terms of how it has evolved, if you will, in terms of the angles. And, and really, again, get a better sense on how rocks decay, how they are shaped. <laughs> These, again, have been brought here at the beach. And so, uh, but, but, so they're not like in, in their natural environment. But they do give us a good idea of all the different ways rocks break, crack, fracture. And then if we're going to make a rock, for example, all those little indentations and stuff, if we, if we look at that picture, look at that real rock, take a picture of it, look at the real one, you put in your shape, get your rebar structure, or if you're going to use foam or what have you, and then look at that fracture line that comes across and where it has a shadow line. And then the little tiny details and the peel aways the undulation, the way rocks fracture, you can see it. some force hit that so hard it popped off and broke away that way. You can see some of that, it looks like glass. Some of those little tiny lines and those little areas on that rock. This one, this rock up here on the hill, looking straight at me, that thing's awesome. Look at that. Look at all the wonderful texture you have on there. So you can actually look at pictures, look at the real thing, and duplicate it when you're making your rocks. Look at that texture right there. <clears throat> Little peel, it's like a peel away, but it's, I'm not sure if it's stratification is the right way. I guess there, I guess in a very hard rock there is stratification and it's, and it's long-term creation through heat and, and uh, pressure, compression, I guess, um, over the eons and stuff. But notice how it goes and then it stops and then this area has a texture to it. It's all by itself. Um, but if you look, if you use your eyeballs and really pay attention, you can start to see how the real thing looks. And again, we're trying to make our rocks look like the real thing. <coughs> um, look at that rock. How about that? Look at that big negative space going in there, that little notch. We've got lines here that are there. These have been weathered by the beach and the sands and the... Um, and rain and time and uh, so you can see how that stone right there has these angles in there how there's there's a little bit of these fault line cracks faults going through the stone basically either at angle or straight across or up and then how they break and fall apart over time look at that it's a big one that goes back into the slope here a little bit but <clears throat> awesome texture right here look at that how does that how does that uh, How's that look, man? So, <clears throat> look at the real thing and you will learn how to make your rocks look like the real thing. 
So anyway, Mr. Dave here at the beach, Torrey Pines area uh, in San Diego, checking out rocks. Again, these are protecting the coastline. They've been brought in and sort of quarried, but they show us how fractures and cracks in rocks uh, develop and are created through the both the quarrying of rocks and impact and that sort of thing. But that happens in nature too, when rocks fall down cliffs and, and this sort of thing, and then water erodes away to make our streams and rivers. If you have a project that you're gonna make a stream or a waterfall, go online and look at pictures of streams and waterfalls. Notice the rock structures that are surrounding them. There are pinch points where the waterfall pinches and it starts flowing between with more of a V-cut as opposed to a sheer descent flying over. So uh, look at the real thing and you'll be able to make your rocks look like the real thing. So anyways, uh, find out more about what we do, davehenderson.podia.com, davehenderson.podia.com, and you can learn how to do that stuff. Got some free downloads there if you like. And uh, so check that out, www.davehenderson.com for uh, links to other platforms and my blogs about stuff. So check that out. And lastly, remember <coughs> to be forgiving and uh, grateful. Thankful, grateful, forgiving. Get those things dialed in, you'll be dialed in person and we need more dialed in people. So God bless you guys, thanks for checking out my videos. Uh, remember to get to know Jesus, he's coming back soon. The book told us what's gonna happen and it is happening. It's time to get yourself all cleaned up and ready to get a nice little entrance into heaven. It's gonna be insanely awesome. So anyway, God bless you guys. Have a great day and we'll see you next time on The Rock Pile. Have a good one, bye bye.